Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food Recipes. In this episode we are making Turkish home style mini bread. It is perfect for breakfast or dinner or any time making sandwiches. Easy to make, fun to shape. To enjoy it uh, fresh all the time you can freeze some of them and then thaw like three hours before you want to use or uh, take it out overnight and then enjoy freshly at breakfast. You can reheat a little bit. I'm sure you will find many ways to enjoy it. So let's get started. I have two cups 500 milliliters of uh, lucky warm water. To that I'm adding one tablespoon eyeballing uh, vegetable oil. I used olive oil and one tablespoon sugar. First I'm gonna add two cups of flour and I used in this recipe fresh yeast since I had it at home but you can also use dry yeast uh, one tablespoon or one package of uh, instant yeast. If one package is 40 grams so I used uh, 20 grams of uh, fresh yeast. Just mixing everything until it is incorporated very uh, soggy very wet mixture it will be I added uh, one cup more of the flour I'm gonna use and then uh, I'm going to let it sit for uh, 30 minutes until it is bubbly as you can see so this is kind of our starter and will give our bread a nicer uh, texture now I'm gonna add the other half of the flour which is about six, six cups in total I didn't want to make it too salty as for the uh, healthier, healthier version so I added uh, one teaspoon a little bit more than that uh, salt and continue to knead the dough until it is nice soft and little bit on the sticky side this is important make it sticky a little bit and work with the dough at least for uh, five six minutes and then uh, make the dough shape to a ball uh, with, you can uh, drizzle some olive oil to your hands to help it uh, shaping I drizzle it uh, to the dough as you can see and then I'm gonna shape it to a ball now It is always better if you drizzle some oil to the bowl again so you can transfer it easily after it is proof. After 45 minutes, as you can see it is doubled again, more than doubled. I'm going to shape it now, drizzling, drizzling again some sprinkling sorry, uh, flour and then uh, with the help of the dough scraper it is really a helpful tool I transferred my dough and now I'm going to uh, cut it in 12 pieces at the first hand I didn't want to work with the dough too much so I'm delicately uh, cutting it so uh, portioning it uh, portioning it can be a little bit harder but that's okay it is just homemade uh, bread and that is uh, what it makes characteristic and unique being not so perfect when I make bread, I always prefer to uh, sprinkle some semolina or coarse uh, corn flour you can use or if you have uh, whole wheat germs 
that would be nice too and tasty uh, don't just uh, oil it if you can't find uh, you can cut some uh, baking paper too and just uh, shaping it first to a nice ball on uh, top which the top surface is is uh, smooth and then make an oval shape very easy and while shaping don't use any flour you don't need to just make a nice uh, round shape on top as you can see make a ball first and then oval shape of course there are other uh, choices you can make it just round but this uh, this looks very pretty and it is just a perfect uh, small version of our uh, Turkish style uh, bread we make uh, they make the our bakeries of course it is the uh, home style but comes out very delicious so after I shape it I'm gonna uh, let it proof again uh, this step is also important in the uh, baking tray you see the difference now it's like uh, half an hour more and getting darker unfortunately and I sprinkled uh, corn flour over them you can also use all-purpose flour but uh, corn flour gives it a little bit different texture it uh, looks nicer prettier and with a sharpest knife you have just a uh, cut uh, from the top and bake it in a 220 degree preheated oven for about a uh, half an hour and make sure you put some uh, hot water in a smaller pan on the uh, bottom of the oven and here is the final look beautifully baked my daughter was so excited she wanted me to make this for a long long time and I usually prefer to make a sourdough bread but these are really of course uh, delicious so I hope you give it a try you can make it in bigger batches and freeze for later use uh, but make sure you freeze it while it is still uh, fresh like within an hour or two and it stays fresh in the freezer too you can thaw it uh, overnight and then uh, heat a little bit to enjoy in your breakfast and while you see the inside how soft it is you also see the uh, background I didn't ba bake only uh, bread but I had the dinner and uh, sütlaç which is rice pudding Turkish style and uh, pilav made by my daughter I'm also uh, recording a vlog hopefully to share as the second week, week in the with the coronavirus in Turkey so I hope you try and let me know share your photos with me and you can also follow me from my Instagram account Turkish food recipes by the way you can also bake the bread in these uh, tin uh, bread pans these photos are from my uh, soft cornbread uh, recipe video on my uh, Turkish channel but I can share this recipe with you also in the upcoming episodes I also have simit recipe on my channel you can enjoy it's really delicious perfect and traditional company for a Turkish breakfast so make sure you check my archive for more recipes like this I will put the links on the description box below thanks for watching I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and vlogs afiyet olsun